We're back on STL TV Live. Now, the mission of the Green Dining Alliance is to enhance each diner's experience and support local businesses by engaging restaurants and stakeholders in a process to increase environmental sustainability through tailored strategies, workshops, and collaboration. I'm joined by Olivia Engel from Green Dining Alliance to, to explain this a little more. Because let's be honest, we all eat at a restaurant and you ask for a to-go bag and you get, or you ask for your dish to go and it's like, this styrofoam container, this bag, this, this, you get so much stuff. And that's just a small portion of really what you're trying to contain. Absolutely. Food waste is also a huge issue. Um, the kinds of chemicals you're using are a huge issue. Uh, water and energy usage. So what the Green Dining Alliance does is it walks a restaurant owner through all areas of operation. You know, how, how is this practicing fitting in? How is this practice fitting in? And then in the end, we can give them tailored strategies to actually meet their goals because most restaurant owners are way too busy to mm -hmm. set aside the time to figure out this rapidly changing industry. So it's helpful to have someone like me to come in and streamline it for them. And that way, diners can have a way to actually know what they're eating when they go out and to know what's happening behind the scenes in the kitchen. Okay, so let's talk about that. How do diners, because you're working with restaurants directly, but how does then the diner know that they've met with you, that they are essentially certified because you mm -hmm. offer the certification program? Well, we have a website, uh, greendiningalliance.org. And on that website, you'll see a map with the St. Louis metro area and a dining list of all the restaurants that we're working with. And we have restaurants who are, you know, completely certified. They've gone through the whole process. They've gotten their score. They're setting goals. And then we have restaurants that are pending. They're, they're still kind of getting involved. Everybody's got a different timeline and different needs. Um, we completely built the program to fit St. Louis specifically. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to keep that an open process and that way diners can see exactly what's going on. You know, this is a great example of something when, when you think about what you do, it's like, why didn't anyone come up with this idea, you know, ages <laughs> ago? So tell me a bit about the history and when was this founded? Because it's quite recent, am I correct? It's still very young. Mm -hmm. Our pilot program started in 2012 and that was about a year, a little over a year, trying to figure out how things would work. We had some great partners from the start, uh, the Schlafly Bob Bottle Works and Tap Room, the Pie Pizzeria started with us, the Botanical Gardens, the Magic House. So we had some strong leaders in the field who helped us figure out exactly what restaurants needed and how we could make that happen. Mm -hmm. So now that we have that part of the program uh, pretty well structured, we've got lots of new restaurants coming in. We have the Bailey's restaurants, we have the Gerard Craft restaurants, and then we have small places too like Prairie Vegan Cafe or the Wolf and Baldwin or Gelateria Del Leone on mm -hmm. South Grand. So we've got a big diverse range and now we're really focused on trying to bring the public in because I think people want to engage with their food. They want to know what they're eating, where it comes from, is it local, is it fresh? So it's it's a fun way to really vote and use your dollar mm -hmm. to practice what you believe in every day. Right, and I think the diner definitely is aware you know, of it. I wonder from a restaurant, a restaurateur or an owner or a chef's perspective, I mean, how, it's not necessarily how aware is it, aware are they, but how feasible is it? Because then when you get into cost, I mean, we were mm -hmm. looking at some photos of you meeting with you know, chefs and restaurant owners, and we can look at those again, but I was just curious, when you're meeting with them, I mean, how, um, Enthusiastic might not be the right word, but just how engaged are they in making those changes and how does it fit with their budget, essentially? And that depends on the place. Some places have a lot of expendable income and they're looking to expand, they're looking to improve. So they know that making sustainable improvements will save them money in the long term. And they know that it's what diners want. So they're going to be garnering more loyalty from their customers. But there are also a range of people who are not necessarily in the position to take on a huge mm -hmm. change. So that's why we have some basic core concepts. Do you recycle? Do you ban styrofoam? Do you phase in energy efficient lighting? And do you set goals for improvement in education? Those are just the backbone of the whole program. So any restaurant involved is at least doing that. But wherever they are beyond that in their sustainability journey is reflected in their score and on the website and on our Facebook page. So again, diners can know exactly what's going on. Yeah, no, I think it's a, I think it's an, I think it's a wonderful concept. And I think it's great that you guys are doing this. I do have more questions for you, but we're going to take a quick break. So please stay with us. We're going to have more from Olivia Engel from Green Dining Alliance when we return.